Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's official, Microsoft has announced earlier at their What's Next for Windows livestream event that Windows 11 is real and will be the next major and official version of the Windows operating system. Now Microsoft also confirmed at the event that Windows 11 will be made available as a free update and upgrade for Windows 10 PCs that meet the hardware and system requirements. Now, I personally think in this department with the requirements to upgrade to Windows 11, that there are going to be quite a few disappointed users of Windows 10. And I personally think, though, that this is a bit of a marketing spree for Microsoft just to push you into buying a new device. So, you know, it's all good and well. Windows 11, you know, it's official. It's exciting. It's always good, you know, to have a new operating system with new features. And if we go over to the, the Microsoft web page, on their website, we can see now that Windows 11 is listed and is official. And it says, introducing Windows 11, a new Windows experience, bringing you closer to the people and things you love. Now, I'm not going to dive too much into the features of Windows 11, and I will post in the next while, tomorrow, the next couple of days, um, regarding some of those new features. But the purpose of this video is just to see if your current Windows 10 uh, operating system meets those minimum system requirements. Now, first of all, you will need a processor one gigahertz or faster with two or more cores. Obviously it has to be 64 bit processor. So 32 um, bit machines are not supported anymore with uh, Windows 11. So if you are running a 32 bit operating system of Windows 10, you will not be able to upgrade to Windows 11. You will need 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage space, UEFI Secure Boot capable. This you can enable or disable in your BIOS. And then this is the TPM. I want to point this out because I think this is going to be a problem on most users' machines. And it stands for Trusted Platform Module. And if we just click on it, you know, Trusted Platform Module is basically designed to provide hardware-based security-related functions, a TPM chip, is a secure crypto processor that is designed to carry out cryptographic operations. So it's basically, in short, just a security chip, which on some older machines doesn't appear. It's only in more recent um, machines and hardware that you will find the uh, trusted platform module uh, chip. Now, if we just go back to the system requirements, there have been some hacks and tweaks during the rounds that you can do you know, to obviously fool, you know, fool basically your uh, Windows 11 into thinking that you have the TPM. But, you know, for your average home user, this isn't going to work. So I think for older machines, especially for home users, this is going to be a problem trying to upgrade to Windows 11. Your graphics card needs to be uh, DirectX 12 compatible. It was rumored that DirectX 13 was going to be making its way into Windows 11, but that's not so. It's still DirectX 12. Display HD resolution of 720p, and obviously you need an internet connection, and that is obviously to set up the Windows 11 on your uh, machine. Now, do yourself a favor and go download the PC Health Check app. Now, this rolled out uh, quite recently from Microsoft. It's a free app from Microsoft, and this is PC Health at a glance. And it's basically introducing Windows 11. Let's check if this PC meets the system requirements. If it does, you can get the free upgrade when it's available. And then all you do is you just go check now. And my PC does not meet those system requirements. This PC can't run Windows 11. While this PC doesn't meet the system requirements to run Windows 11, you'll keep getting Windows 10 updates. Now, there's nothing wrong with Windows 10 and, you know, getting those free updates. And as I've mentioned in a previous video, Windows 10 is supported up until 2025. So there is still a couple of years to go before you basically are forced to upgrade. But as I mentioned earlier, I think this is a little bit of a marketing spree on Microsoft's behalf. And then you click on learn more and it just takes you back to those minimum system requirements where you will see this PC will not run Windows 11. Now, my reason um, that I believe my PC can't um, run, will not be able to upgrade to Windows 11, is if you look here, first of all, it's six years old. And then obviously, being an older PC, it doesn't, you know, support that uh, trusted platform module TPM. But I'm going to go fiddle a little bit with my secure boot in my BIOS, first of all, 
um, because um, I have disabled that in my BIOS because I uh, dual boot this machine and that was just causing a bit of a problem with the dual boot. So I will leave a link in the description box below to the PC health check for you to go check out if you, you know, you can upgrade and your PC meets those system requirements for Windows 11. But it's exciting. A new operation, uh, operating system is upon us. And as I say, I will be posting a lot more about it in the next uh, day or so. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.